Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. So in today's video, we are going to talk about what are some of the projects that would help you to practice JavaScript. JavaScript is absolutely adaptable. It's changing, it's evolving, it's getting better and better. And especially if you wanted to become a front-end engineer or you wanted to get into more front-end type of work, you are definitely need to learn some JavaScript to be able to do that. There's two things you can look into JavaScript. The first thing is obviously algorithm. And the idea of practicing algorithm is just to help you to really train your brain muscle to be better. I don't want to elaborate more about algorithm in this video particularly. I'll make another video that specifically talk about that. You want to improve JavaScript outside of algorithm, outside of Leco, outside of HackerRank. Um, here is some of the projects that I would absolutely recommend you to build. First thing and the most important thing for you to learn how to build is a good old to-do list. You just gotta learn how to build a simple to-do list with JavaScript. And the reason for that is because to-do lists contain the most crucial crud. Create, read, edit, and delete. It has all the manipulations that you could done with the DOM with JavaScript. Like make sure that you can just do it in your sleep. Super important. Another application that I would recommend you to build is a diet application or a um, food log or whatever that you wanted to call it. It's just a more fancier way of creating a to-do list. Just makes me happy when I'm making something that's more relatable to myself and I actually can use it. Um, so anything that you're building that would spark your interest, it's a good sign that you you really should build it. The next project that is pretty cool and I would recommend, it's a form on the DOM. Just think about like a very simple form that you would see on any kind of um, e-commerce site. Like entering your first name, last name, um, has like input fields, has a submit button. When you click on the submit button, it will direct the user to some other website. This is a really, really, really good practice and it's gonna help you tons when you are practicing JavaScript because as a front-end developer or as someone who are learning JavaScript and wanted to get into front-end, guess what? Front-end is dealing with forms all the time. Everything that you see on the website, on the internet, they are all forms, small little forms, big little forms, forms inside of the forms. They're all made up with forms. So understanding how to get the input from the user and how to gather that input and send it to the server, it's a super important skill set to have. The last thing is once you're getting really hands-on, start looking into really interesting APIs would help you too. I would look for projects that has like really cool APIs, for instance, Pokemon APIs or Brewies APIs. Those are super cool and there's so many public APIs that you can use. Play around with it and have fun with it and actually get stuff onto the DOM and build something really interesting. If you are really excelling on the things that I talked about above and you wanted to take your project to the next level, then I would say that looking into API would really help you to create cool, killing websites, not only sparking your interest, but also giving yourself um, some more practice with the API. Because as a front-end engineer, there are times that we just need to deal with APIs. When we are building these applications, I want you to have a mindset that you're not making the next Facebook or Uber, or you're gonna make such a great application that you're gonna just be rich. It's a great idea to think that way to motivate yourself. Try to keep this app not fancy and super simple, it's just for you to practice and focus on practicing on JavaScript. I know sometimes people get really um, frustrated or they just wanted to make their application look presentable, but that's okay. You can use like some sort of CSS framework to just help you make it nice, but don't worry too much about that. Focusing on just practice on the app. Oh, also another thing that I wanted to mention, there is this website called JavaScript 30 Day and it's created by 
Wes Boss, and he's one of the front end engineer and podcaster, and also a really popular speaker. Um, and he created this free program specifically for people who are just starting learning JavaScript. The whole program lasts for 30 days. I've never done it from like day one to day 30th, but I've definitely picked up some of the projects in between and definitely built it from scratch or following his tutorial. Um, so you can check it out. This is not sponsored. I thought that was a really, really great website for especially newbies to learn JavaScript and try to get familiar with vanilla JavaScript. So that is all that I wanted to say. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you do, if you do, give me a thumbs up, leave comments down below, share my video with someone. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon and stay safe and stay happy out there. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.